Alrighty, good evening and welcome back. And right off the bat, you can see, got ourselves a new pellet smoker. This is the Pits and Spits Maverick 1250. Uh, this isn't going to be really an overview video. I'm going to do an overview video a little later. But the first step for me to get this grill ready to go is getting it unbolted from the pallet and then getting these casters on. So I got a couple ideas how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to try to do it by myself. Uh, like I said, I got a couple ideas on how I'm going to do it. And uh, stay tuned and we'll see if any of those ideas work. Alrighty, so we are back. And here's what I came up with. What I did was I took uh, just I had like a scrap 4x4 four four laying around. Actually, it's probably not. It's, I think it's like 3 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter or something. But anyways, I pushed that. Or I lifted up on the pellet hopper side. Pushed it underneath so it was underneath the, uh, the bottom shelf. You know, kind of pushed it to where I got in relativity to the handle. I don't know if you can see it or not. But when I did that, I was able to tilt it up high enough to get my floor jack out. And then, as you can see already, I got one of the nuts and bolts and lock washer started. But uh, that will give me my height to do it on one side. So I'm going to go ahead and do this process. Here, the nut, the bolt, and the, uh, the lock washer. Um, about six more times. And then uh, I will pick back up when we're putting the wheels on the other side. Okay, we are back. We got the one side on. Uh, one quick side note on this, um, when you get these casters, you get four of them, and you'll notice that the two of them don't swivel, and then two of them that you get, they do swivel. So this is the one of them right here, it swivels, you know, and then the other one is a locking uh, swivel caster. And those are going to go on the side with the handles, because I will be moving it from those handles. I don't know if you can see it or not. Yeah, there we go. But you can see I got it jacked up high enough to be able to get my pivoting there you go. Caster's in there, so I'm going to go ahead and bolt those on, and uh, I'll pick back up one more time. Let's give you a final shot, and we'll see how this thing rolls around. So we're back. We just got all four of the casters on. Uh, relatively simply, uh, I would make one comment on these. The, the bolts, I, I think they're called carriage bolts, but they're kind of squared off on one end, and I think that's for the intention of not having to have a wrench on both sides. They're just a little too small for the holes they fit in, so unfortunately I had to grab like a channel lock and just very lightly grab onto the threads uh, to get the nuts tight. But as you can see, it was not that hard at all. Uh, and I'll just show you quick how easy this thing moves. This thing, I think it's about, shipping weight said it was like 460 pounds, which I don't believe that. I think the website said it's like 275. But this thing's real, real easy. So uh, besides that, I don't know if this was the proper way to put the wheels on, but I used what I had and uh, relatively simple. So I hope this video helped you guys out and girls. And uh, have a good night. And uh, we'll see you next time.